Having downloaded TrueCrypt, the next stage is to install it. Installing TrueCrypt is a very simple and straightforward process. Since in my case I saved the archive in the My Documents folder, I first need to extract the contents of that zip file. Once I do that, I have the TrueCrypt setup.exe install program and I'm going to double click that. In my case, I'm going to stick to the defaults. So on the screen that comes up, I'm simply going to press the install button and TrueCrypt will take care of setting the system restore point, associating the .tc extension to it, etc. etc. Once the installation is complete, I must with I want to see the beginner's guide and I'm going to say yes. The next stage, in fact, is based on this document. And for those who would like to know more about Strupip and would like to experiment with the options and, and the facilities available, I encourage you to spend some time on Strupip's site.